yeah. somebody is really going to be lucky out there. As a matter of fact, Travel and Leisure Magazine mm -hmm. just rated the towns that make up Crystal Coast the number one, the most favorite towns in America. I could see it. So that's pretty. Number yeah. one towns in America. Beautiful. Well, from the number one town in America yeah. to the number one show, comedy on television, right? Nice. We're talking, yes, Modern Family, and fans know Sarah Highland as the rebellious Haley Dumphy, the multi-talented star, is in her sixth season of the show. She took a break from filming to spend time in New York City with an important member of her very own family, her dog. She loves her Barkley. dog. Barkley. Sarah and Barkley teamed up with the ASPCA for a great cause, and she told our Sarah all about it. So not only do we get to talk to the lovely Sarah Highland today, but we have a special guest, Barkley, and this is your fur baby. This is my fur baby. <laughs> this is my fur baby. I can't believe you're a mom. Yes, I know. I'm so young. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> now, how did you get the name Barkley? And it's Barkley Bixby, right? Barkley Bixby. It's it's an homage to Modern Family, actually. Barkley is the dog butler, uh, Jay's dog butler that Gloria hates. Uh, I believe she refers to it as El Diablo. And then Bixby is the last name of Phil's sexy time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Alternate name. That is hilarious. Yeah. You and Barkley have a message to get out today. Can you share it with us? People are scared of adopting pets because of that mess that they can create. And so Swiffer and I, we, we're in affiliation with ASPCA now, and we're raising awareness that it's easy to clean up after a pet so we can get more animals adopted and into good homes and into loving families. And they do so much for you. I mean, what is the value for you of having a puppy like Barkley in your life? What does he do for you? The animals just give you an unconditional love that I don't think anybody else can I don't I genuinely don't think it's it's possible you could be the greatest person on earth but animals just that have this way of getting into your hearts and having this unconditional love and not, not a bad bone in their body they don't have negative thoughts they just love you because you take care of them and you're there for them and, and as as long as you're there for them they just they will always be there for you so. and you dress him well we should add nice sweater I got him groomed before I came here I didn't want it to be this short because it's it's a bit chilly here so I, I had to bring a sweater but Thank yeah. goodness I had a cute one. I'm all for dogs and clothes, by the way. <laughs> now, how does Barkley spend his day? Does he come to Modern Family with you? Sometimes he comes to Modern with me. Sometimes it's not possible. Um, so he he actually does really well by himself. Does he play with Stella, the Modern Family Frenchie? Never played with Stella, no. Oh, maybe, no. Maybe you can introduce them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Stella's a bit young. Bridget, I think it's Bridget yeah. her name is. She's a bit young for him. Oh, She's a little puppy. Now, you have been on the show six seasons already. I cannot even believe it. How much is Haley like Sarah? I don't know. I, we're, we're very different in general. I mean, I, I would hope I'm not as fast as she is. <laughs> I would hope with all of my heart. Um, I was a really good student in school. Um, yeah, I didn't go to college, but um, it's not like college is never going to be there. I don't know. I just, I'm not a very good cook. We have that in, in common. Haley and I, Haley and I, we're not very much domesticated, but I feel like I have more drive and ambition than Haley has. And who knows, maybe you'll see some of that from her this season. I gotta ask you, what is it like to be on set with Sofia Vergara? And does she eat as much cake as she makes it look like on Instagram? Yes, and it's awful. She can take her perfect body and eat cake, but just don't do it in front of me. Yeah, that's mad. Makes us jealous. Not fair. You were starting this career when you were four or five years old, so you've been a part of a lot of TV families. On screen, who is the most fun mom you've had? That's so unfair. I would, I have to say Julie Bowen. She's been my mom the longest out of all of them. Jennifer Aniston has played my mom, though, and she's wonderful. I say Jen and Julie, but definitely Julie because she's one of my closest friends. Does she act like your mom? Like, is she like, are you going to wear that? No, she doesn't do that. She's like, oh, my God, where's that from? Can I have it. Haley, sweetie, uh, gowns on backwards. Oh no, it's cuter this way. Sexy people go crazy too, you know. Read a people magazine. She's oh, more of like, she's like an older sister motherly figure to me. We, she has that maternal instinct because she has kids, but we're, we're very close. Yeah, that's awesome. Pop culture questions. What is the most embarrassing thing on your DVR right now? Oh boy. Boise, Boise. A utopia? Interesting. It is interesting. What about if you were an actor, what would you be? Probably a psychologist. 
psychologist or a therapist. I like knowing what the human brain does. Very interesting to me. I love it. Last thing you listen to on your iPod? Taylor's song. Oh! Welcome to New York. It's you guys so good. good. Yeah. All right. Well, it's really good catching up with you, Sarah, and thank you so much for introducing us to, of course. to your young man. Bye. Bye. <laughs> You know, I wish I could bring my dog to work every day. That would be amazing. She brought her Gary? dog with her. Yeah, Gary. I always wondered why you picked the name Gary for a dog. It's not very dog-like, is it? It's not. We love people names for dogs. Our, our family dog's name was Henry. Um, and I like to say uh, it wasn't named after Gary Busey. It was because my nephew was, at the time, obsessed with SpongeBob. And SpongeBob's uh, pet name is Gary, so we thought it was cool anyway. but uh, It's very cool. My <laughs> kids desperately want to have a dog. Uh, but we live on the fourth floor of an apartment building in Brooklyn. Aww. It's a little hard to like walk the dog up and down all day. But it's day, exercise. Right? Part of their exercise. But it's part of <laughs> until they get older. I'm gonna be calling Christine at 3 a.m. Going, look, the dog Please. needs to go out. You told me to get a Please dog. Let the dog. You gotta come over. <laughs> you know what I'm fascinated about Sarah Highland is that she's kind of grown up. Yeah. On TV, that's got to be challenging. It's but she seems like she's totally got her head screwed up. And watching the reruns sometimes on you know in syndication, you can see how young they were when they first started and now. And I love what they're doing with their characters. Too. They, they did a whole storyline where she was going to college and she was really self-conscious because she wasn't the smart one in the family. Mm -hmm. But she found out in, you know, like most episodes, that there were other qualities to her and she got into fashion. So it's really cute what they're doing with her character and just the whole show in general. There's a reason why they keep winning awards. <laughs> it's a great show. And, of course, you can catch Sarah on Modern Family. It's Wednesdays at 9 Eastern on ABC. Terrific show. Still ahead. Stress-free secrets to conquer your clutter. All recipes is in the kitchen with gluten-free roasted chicken. The apps that will help you get healthy. <laughs> we talked about Gary. <laughs> we talked about Gary the dog.